this is the first police station in East Africa. Mm. You can see right now it's dilapidated, it's not yet to be happy. Welcome to over 100 years ago. The first hotel in East Africa. This is where the ships used to dock. Yeah, we are going down. An ocean has a ocean, uh, salt water mm. and this well has fresh water. drinking water. And this one was dug by the slaves. This is one of the slaves used to bathe on this cistern. But these people are very knowledgeable. I can't imagine I'm standing at the very point where the slaves were lined up to board the ships. You come to Zurich, Abisa. Welcome back here to another amazing video. Right now I'm here in Mombasa, Old Town, the oldest city in East Africa. And I'm going to be exploring it with these amazing people. <laughs> Hi guys, yes. Malika does it. Welcome back to another episode with Beauty Connect in Kenya. All right, tell them. <laughs> and also my brother. My name is Samuel Travel and History and I uh, will be taking UG Connect to Old Town and uh, give him the best experience of all time. Amazing. Yeah. They are also YouTubers, so go and check them out. Malika also, does it. Malika does it, guys. Yeah. Subscribe to Malika does it. I'm here with a Ugandan brother. Uh -huh. So subscribe to the channel so that you can get to see everything that we do here in the coastal side of Kenya. All right. You don't want to miss out. All right, so subscribe to Samuels. Yay, Samuel Travel and History. OK. So I'm leaving their channel links in the description down below. Mm -hmm. So right now, let's walk the streets of Mombasa Old Town. Yep. Oh yeah, actually this building is very old that it even has trees inside. Yeah. <laughs> so this, this building, mm. uh, this building is connected to the other building. That was the first police station in East Africa. Oh, this one? Yeah, during the British era, that is 1884. Wow. Nice. Look at this. The tree Some is... Opinions. The tree is growing on the walls of the building. Mm. Actually, the roots are these roots. Yeah, these are roots. These are kind of. Very nice. They have the the mangrove vibe. They yeah. have the mangrove vibe. That's what I've seen. Yeah. So whenever you are coming to Old Town, mm. at the entrance, you might decide to buy some salt veneers. Mm. Yep. And look at the door. I love the engravings on the door. Looks like lamb. These ones on the door. How old is this door? Maybe a thousand years. You don't know. Um, okay, if we consider when Old Town started, mm. 900 AD, wow. we might. 100 plus. 100 plus. <laughs> another, another thing is, mm. you will find like these ones are like uh, the Oman kind of. Uh, doors. doors. You'll find them in East African coast, okay. and you see how my how many how detailed they are. Look at the kind of flowers, of sort of sort of sort. Yeah, yeah. but then these details have meanings. Yeah, yeah, sure. They have meanings. Yeah, they do. You'll find meanings. others have lightings, Arabic lightings, and sort of sort of sort. Wow. That's Looks right. like the door has not been opened in a uh, while. So many years. I love Mombasa. You love Mombasa. Yeah, man. <laughs> So this is Old Town. Now this is the Old Town. Guys. Old Town Road. I can't imagine UG Connect is here, guys. You can't imagine? Yeah. Well, now you're here. Let me to pinch you. <laughs> yes, pinch me. <laughs> <you. laughs> so that you can believe you're yeah. in Mombasa. Old because town. I've been watching vlogs about this place, but and I'm here. here. Can now you imagine? Almost. Mm -hmm. I think they are about 2,000 kilometers from Uganda. Yes to this point because yes. this is the farthest part this is the farthest end man and if you said you want to go to Lamu now you will be going to the very farthest end Lamu eh? yeah uh, Lamu, Lamu I think is older than the old town this one 
Lamu? I think so too, yeah, yeah. because Lamu is all, 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 all. Some so. people even say Lamu is not in Kenya, but of course it's Kenya. <laughs> it's so, just like so far. So before you immerse yourself into the history of Old Town, mm. the first thing you'll notice the buildings are very old yeah and most of them are painted white yeah and yellow yes so that's what uh, the income the previous uh, governor decided to to instruct to. it was instructed to be painted the yellow mm. and, white. and white like the governor of those days no the previous no. governor oh, okay the, the, previous, the previous yeah that is joho uh, yeah and uh, another day you can see the difference in balcony. The difference in balcony. Yeah, you can see that is a different balcony mm. from that one. Yes. You can see. Let's go there and then I will tell you about that one. Wow. So for those who don't know, Old Town started in 1980 mm. as a result of trade that was happening in East African coast yeah. between the Omans, mm. Arabs and Persians. Mm. Yep. There are many tuk-tuks. <laughs> and uh, in Old Town, this is where you're going to find now a lot of diverse people like Arabs, Omans, mm. eminent of Kenya, Chinese, mm. and such and such. Wow. So, uh, remember the difference in balconies. The difference in balconies. Yeah. So there is there. There is this one. Mm. Mm. So there is Oman balcony. Mm. And also there is there. Indian balcony. Okay. Yes. This must be the Oman. So this one is kind of Oman balcony. Mm. You see how they construct their balcony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh. So you mean even that wood I'm seeing there is that old? It's very old. They were using. I I don't know. I don't know how they were doing this, but these people are very knowledgeable. Man, imagine having <laughs> a, a house that is going to remain for over 300 years. Imagine. So this is the first hotel in East Africa. Wow. 1901. Welcome to over 100 years. 100 years. This guy has so much information. Yeah, he does. I can see that. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Welcome to over 100 years ago. Yeah. So now come and see now the information. 100 years ago. Yeah. Wow. So African Hotel. We are here right now. Okay. So the African Hotel opened 1901, and the, it is the, the 12th bedroom bedrooms who are particularly appreciated for their balconies the view over there see as there was no building opposite it is facing the sea oh so the sea is this side it's on the other side yeah so i'm going to be taking you over to okay that side. yeah so you can go inside wow see first hotel in kenya and in east africa 1901 so wow. that's almost 100 plus years by that time, 1900. by that time in Uganda, I think 1903, uh -huh. we were Alina was set, set, setting up at the oldest shop in Uganda. In Uganda. Oldest shop. Yeah, in Nakasero. Remember Nakasero Market? Yeah. Around that area, the so. the oldest of the first shop in Uganda was there. And in that's where that's in town, right? Where yeah. People eat and yeah, exactly. I remember. Exactly. I remember. So. All right. Do you want to go inside and just maybe... Not really. Because I believe there are guests who would, wouldn't love to be on camera. Yeah, let's just take the street. Yeah, okay. let's just go on the yeah. streets. Guys, this is Mombasa, so no, old no. town. No. You have been shown about the how the old, the hotel was. Mm. And then there is an information by the, the sea. Mm. That time they thought it was the other than the ocean. So it's on this side. So now that is the view. Oh, very so close. The, yeah, that is the view. View of the ocean. Oh, uh, yes. Guys, behind that car which is parked there, yes. I think we are going to pass by and see the sea. Yeah. Okay, Mombasa Old Town. Mombasa Old Town. There are so many galleries over here. Mm. Yeah. Wow. But they don't allow cameras inside. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. So this is the old town of Mombasa. Old town. Old town of Mombasa. So remember, Mombasa is a predominantly Islam county. Yeah. And uh, 
the most of the people you find here were cast, like the custodians of uh, Mombasa were Muslims, most of them. Mm. So they decided to construct a mosque, this mosque. Mm. You can say what is the name of the mosque? Manhandri Mosque. Yeah. It, the name the name sounds Indian. Yeah, it's over 300 years. Wow. This mosque. Wow. Yeah, and this one was the Portuguese. Cha uh, this, Careful, one, yeah. this one was a Portuguese chapel. Uh, it was constructed by the Portuguese, but right now it operates as a hospital. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's called Bomu Medical Center Bomu Old Medical Town. Center. Bomu in Uganda means bomb. Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how houses are very old. Very old. Very old. Looks like this one is abandoned. Yeah, this one is abandoned. No one is living inside. Nobody. Living House for sale. Okay. It's actually for sale, guys. In case someone wants to buy. <laughs> and and yeah. House for sale. Contact is there. Wow. So if you want to buy it, you start with plus two. Five four. That's the Kenyan country code. The house is for sale. It's located in a very strategic uh, neighborhood. I hope they will give me some commission. These guys here. I hope they see and then they <laughs> give you the commission. So I have shown you the. Oh nice. Are we allowed Where? Yeah. Here. Here. Uh. Looks like it's a parking. First hold on. Malika, it's a parking. It's a parking lot. No, I'm, I mean the view. Oh, the view? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Hakuna Maji. Right now it's low tide. But still, is it? The, yeah. but still, the view is not good. Eh? Yeah, the ocean. We shall go. We are going, I'm going to show you where you can see the ocean. Clearly. Clearly. No one is going to tell you, oh, you don't know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate when people say that. <laughs> Why are you taking videos? So, what the hell? Mm. Uh, remember Why I was telling I? you, there are some, they, it's a cocktail of uh, people in old town. In different so, cultures. They, yeah, cultures. You know, this one is an Indian balcony. Okay. This one is an Indian balcony. And this one is a local balcony. Oh. Yeah. So you can see the difference. This looks modernish. Yeah. This is modern. 1970-ish. Yeah. Ish, ish, ish. Hello. How are you? Hi. You love Mombasa? Yes, Lord. Okay. <laughs> so this is Polodani. One Restaurant. of the best uh, hotels you can take seafood. Okay. And if you want to go inside, you can go and show the people how it looks like. Sure? Yeah. Should we go? Yeah, you can go so that you can show the people the view. Oh, that, there's a police station there? No, there's no police station. I think they're going to the, to the administrative square. Okay, because I can see it is a restricted area. Malika, yeah. this one has a good view of the ocean. You wanted to see the ocean. Okay. So now this is the restaurant. Yes. Habari? Mm. So, mm. Wow, this is the best place that you can take seafood. Okay. Uh, when I have money. In Mombasa? Yeah, when I have money. Mm. You, guys, when I have deep pockets <laughs> and I want to spoil myself, I'm a fan of seafood. Yeah. So that's what I eat. So, mm. now this is the view of the ocean. Of the ocean. So this one is connected to the old port of Mombasa. Mm. I'm going to show you where the port of Mombasa, the old port of Mombasa, Mombasa is located. Okay. Yeah. So this is the view, that is the English Point Marina. Mm. And, uh, so this is the big ocean. Now, the, now this is the Indian Ocean, yeah. This is like a bay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one now was the old port of Mombasa. So ships used to dock here? Ships used to dock here, but I'm going to take you where the, the boarding and the unloading of goods, plates oh. and sort of, sort of things where they were. Okay, Indian. okay. So no. Okay, wow. The deal. Guys, are you enjoying the video? Kindly let me know in the comment section down below. And go show some love to my brother. Yeah, show me some love. For the information he's sharing to us. Yeah.
So I'm looking at this board, it's wooden, but it looks old style. Let me tell you, mm. you might think it's very old, mm. but this one you might find it next month in Zanzibar, all in Tanzania. Sure. These ones that are used to transport spices, most of them spices. Sure. Yeah, to Zanzibar. Okay. Yeah, spices. And I, I can see they are blowing out, they are pumping out water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> so my bro, I say this is the best place to eat seafood. Seafood. In Mombasa. In Mombasa. Personal, in my point of view. So guys, these are coral reefs. Yeah. There are some stones they have used to to re reinforce the walls. Yep. That's the okay. map from Mombasa Oil Town. This one, eh? Yeah. This was the old post. This was the old post. Okay. So this is whereby if you send like letters or packages of whatever, you have to pick them from here. Okay. Okay, so this building housed the post office which opened in 1899, the post office. And among the Indians to build the little to send <laughs> news and money from her. So Someone the Indians, lost their ID there. yeah. yeah. So the Indians, mm. it is served Indians most of uh, most of the times. Okay. Yeah, because they uh, could send money home and maybe receive money from oh. yeah from their families. Oh, this is interesting. Kids. Yeah. So now this is there. This is the map of Old Town. Mm. Remember Old Town is a uh, 78 hectares of land. Mm. Yeah, and this now is what it comprises. We are from here. This is the Fort Jesus. We are from here. We have taken these fruits. Now we are, this is the old port fish market. Now we are here, the government square right now. This is the oh, this is the government square. Yeah. So this is where administrative duties were being administered from. Oh. So I think you can go and show them what the administrative board. Careful, careful, guys. What's happening after? Huh? Well, I think electricity is burning. Electricity is uh, doing a. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's too much. Is there is fire there up. Guys, can you see that fire around here? So this is there. Thank you. First way. The government square. You're very excited. We are here. <laughs> the government square. You can show them there. The area that's the government. Oh, mm. was the most important. It was one of the most important. <laughs> Guys, this like this electricity. This wire might even drop down and it and it kills us. We need to remove the car. Yeah, we need to remove that car. If they want, we don't want to burn the government. Yeah. Star, my, my it's even written up here. The yeah, government square. square. Government square. Yes. Okay. The early 20th century government square continued to follow it, uh, the government and businesses were willing to open up to the interior of Africa and Kali on trade with the rest of the world. Mm. Yes. Oh, there is a restaurant there, a local restaurant there? Yeah? There is a local Kibandaski. restaurant for the... Kibandaski. For, ki for people, yeah. Kibandaski. <laughs> but you know Kibandaski food is always really nice. <laughs> because it's fresh. Yeah, for those who are watching in, from Uganda, this is like the Toninira. We call it Toninira. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So you're that strong? Not strong. I was about to die, like literally, I was about to collapse. Mia started sprinting. I think I don't feel like I was not feeling anything. You man, you're so under this like what if it comes like yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. electricity travels so fast. Yeah. Hey, I'm go. seeing an old ship here, a small one. A small one, yeah, that's yeah. just uh, an, an artifact. Okay, let's show them shortly. 
So this is how the vessels used to look like. Hello. Thank you. Uh, that's a door. A door? Door. What is door? D H O W. The one that uses this thing. Oh, the cloth. Uh, yeah. Okay. October. The thing is, I think for you to understand, you remember when the those uh, traders were coming to East Africa. Yeah. They were using the northeast monsoon wind and southwestern yeah. monsoon wind. Yeah. So they used to come with things like those ones, which they have have like something like a cloth. A cloth. Yeah. yeah. So that they can be able to sail. Oh, okay, yes. okay. They used to sail with the wind. Yes, now the yeah. indigenous wind, so you can know the, where the wind is going. Oh, like that. yeah. Wow. Which corridor are we taking again? We are taking this one because we have to go to the fish market. Mm. You see the old port of Mombasa, and then you have to go to the back street, and then to go to the White House, and then to the first police station. So this is the fish market. Mm. This is where you come to get your fresh fish. fresh fish. So it was the first fish market also? In the old town. Okay. So come and see where we buy fish. Come we buy some fish. Yes. Yeah. We going to cook fish tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are inside the fish market. Fish market. Look at this. <laughs> Hello, oh. Lobster, lobster. Lobster. Lobster? Lobster, lobster. It's called lobster. Does it bite? No, it's dead. Oh. I would love to see how you cut These are edible. Yeah, they are very edible. Yeah, they're so sweet. Are you serious? Come on. So they are cooked with the shell and then after... Do you have crabs? After they have cooked, mm. after you have cooked, mm. now you crack this shell off and then now you start eating the white meat inside. Wow. Is it very delicious? No, like raw. raw. Right. <laughs> you see this? This is really is made from eating white meat. Yeah, it's very so that's how they are Okay. Yeah, yeah, they are cleaning it, eh? Kilo is a 5K. A kilo goes for $50, guys. Sure? Yeah. Of this? Seafood is expensive, very my guys. Seafood White is meat is very, very expensive. Kilo. One kilo. One kilo? No, only this one is 5K. This one is one kilo? One kilo. When it is alive, when it is alive, 7K. What? $70. in dollars. If you say $70, that means it's $7,000. Yeah. What yeah. it's saying is, if you buy from a Chinese restaurant, oh, yeah. it's $150. Oh, one kilo. Oh, one but he has said when it is alive, alive, alive $70. No, alive. Wow. Guys, just buying this in Ugandan shillings, that is around 150,000. But in <laughs> Chinese, <laughs> when the Chinese are selling, He's saying as a guy you need to eat seafood. This is very nice. Guys, one kilogram in some places that it can be sold at around 350,000 Ugandan shillings. Wow. Wow. Looks like the market is not that busy today. So, yeah. Now this is where you are able to see the the old port. Oh. Now this is where uh, business used to go down. Yeah, business goes down actually. See this. So uh, many business. So ships used here. to dock here. Yeah, they used to dock here mm. to offload and load goods like spices, ammunition. Go to India. Others go to India. Others go to Zanzibar. Others mm. go to other that places. Where? Where? The water. No, no, it's not a, it's it's a cloth. Place. Looks like a cloth. Yeah, we are going to go down there. We are going, I'm going to take you down there. Okay. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, let's go. You don't want to buy seafood for 150 <laughs> <yet>. <laughs> <laughs> No. 
<laughs> I can't afford so in that. Uganda, there's no street food like at all. Okay, we have, but it is rare and it's expensive. If it is there, it must be expensive. Of course, it's expensive everywhere. Yeah. Okay, Paul, a cars. So, bro, bro, even this building is old. Yeah, this one is part of old town. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen many YouTubers shooting here oh. in the fish market. So where do we go, bro? So we are going to this side, but these are very narrow streets. If we follow this path, we are going to go to the same place as this one. I think let's go through here. Like this one? Yeah. yeah this one? This one is very narrow. This one is very narrow. Yeah. yeah, let's go in the very narrow ones because I've always found them interesting, interesting. from the vlogs. Let's go to Lamu. Oh, Lamu. Lamu has the same vibe. Yeah, it has ah, the same vibe. This but... is actually forming Lamu's vibe. Lamu has <laughs> the real vibe. The real vibe. If you go to Lamu, you'll think you're in some old Italy. Italy vibe, Portuguese vibe. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Very narrow streets. Uh -huh. And people still live here. Mm. So I think this is 1994. Oh, I think you were Which one? Right. And the That's dolls. Right. The details of this door. Yeah, yeah, the art. Yeah, you know the thing is mm. why they were putting these arrow heads mm -hmm. on doors. Remember, it was very this side. It was like a bush, and people and animals were competing for habitat. Space. So they came up with this idea of putting these arrow heads mm. on the doors because of the elephants. You know, oh. the elephants used to come and hit the doors and attack people. So whenever an elephant hits using okay. the head. Okay. Yes. It gets hurt. It gets hurt. So this is how one would knock. Let me hope there is no one inside. Someone's it, it, there's someone's house. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually how you knock. That's how you knock. <laughs> this way. Wow. Look at these guys. I'm really loving this. I'm even sweating. You're sweating. Yeah. Excitement. Excitement. <laughs> uh -huh. Now you can see how uh, how narrow these streets are. Yeah. I don't know why they were constructing narrow streets, but I think remember this the. This one is actually large. This one is very large. Yeah. Look at this one. I think it's because of the means of transport. Maybe they were using horses, bikes, bikes donkeys. Donkeys. Yeah. 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 Mules. Oh, oh. hello. How are you? We call this Chikomando. Chikomando, yeah. yeah. We call this Chikomando in Uganda. You know? Ni ni ni. Chapati Maragwe. Chapati Maragwe. In Uganda, we call this Chikomando. Yeah. Wow. You know, when I say anything Uganda, I get excited. I get excited. So this yeah, part, these parts were not like this. They have mm. been renovated just a few weeks ago. Oh, the pavers, eh? Yeah. Okay. You know, it's like this. Okay. Yeah, and you can see people still live here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at this complex. This one. So now that is the local or the new way of constructing balconies. Okay. Considering this was an, they have different types of balconies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we are heading to the Laven House mm. and Swahili Land Heritage Hotel, but it doesn't function. Okay. It used to, but now it doesn't. Okay. okay. You are recording yourself. Oh. Okay. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Mm. Oh, this way, to the port, eh? Yeah, and you're trying to corner. So here there is a loving house. Mm. It was constructed in the form of a British ship that came to East Africa. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, let's go and, and check train. it but out. You cannot go inside. Okay. There are people who will decide in those houses. Old like town. <laughs> so you see? Mombasa Old Town Conservation Office mm. for Jesus Museum. That is the address. Okay, this um, is the address. Leven House. Leven House. The house, this house took the name of a British ship which visited Mombasa in 1824. Officers from this ship were given permission 
by Captain Owen to conduct their anti-slaving operations from here. I'm going. I'm going to show you where the slave, the slaves are being corrected from. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So originally the house was owned by Said Said bin Sultan. Oh, Said Said. Yeah, you mm. remember? I, remember I think Saint people Saint. know. Yeah, we studied about him. Yeah, Said Said, the controller of East African mm. trade. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Hiya, rule of Zanzibar, the Luther James Emily, who administered Mombasa within the British protectorate, 1824, 1826, paid a free, freed slaves for building the tunnel to step bleeding down to the JJ in 1824. I'm going to show you where this one is. Okay. Okay. So the Masroy rule of Autonomous, 1741. Swahili so, land restaurant. Yeah. Now this one is the Raven House. So it's like that ship. Yeah, that ship. How that British ship used to look like. Okay, it had two storage. Yeah, it's two storage building. And you can see the type of balcony. It yeah. has the details, whatever, the wooden. Mm. Yeah. And this is really hard, hard wood. Hard wood. Yeah, yeah. It's very hard wood. So even the windows are from that that time. Yeah. yeah. The windows and doors. Yes. Wow. You see how it is? People are trying to revamp it. Yeah. Uh, get destroyed. Yeah. Amazing. Used to live in that house. Okay. Yeah. He lived by the sea. By the sea. Oh. Nyaje. Ningapi? Kilo. Eh. Kilo. Eh? Kilo. Kilo. You buy a kilo. Kilo ningapi. Unona, there's a fish fish market, market. there. Yeah. So oh. you can just so you don't sell here? We are buying So these are just fishermen yeah. and then Let they take the Others fish. are down there bringing yeah. the other fish. Oh. This is the one, just one. Oh. Okay. Bringing oh. them. Oh, pole kazi. Pole kazi is well done, not so? No. Pole kazi like... Pole, pole. Any pole kazi means like... Uh, I'm sympathizing oh. with what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, it's wow. like I'm en also encouraging you in quote unquote. Keep keep going. Yeah, keep going. Keep going, eh? Yeah. Oh. All, all along, I used to think. I used to think it's like, hey, well done. You're doing well. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. Nini? Nini? Samaki. Samaki? Yeah. Ah, yeah. So you see. Why you are saying that the fish market is not busy? Yeah. Right now is the time when the fishermen are coming out of the, the, the ocean. They're okay. coming to bring the, the okay. fish. Let's go down here. Ooh. So right now we are heading to the docking space. Mm. The old port of Mombasa. This is where the ships used to dock. Yeah. We are going down. These stairs are very old. You see, mm. even they are starting to yeah to collapse. To collapse. Okay. Okay, it's falling in love. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say I said that. <laughs> it's captured on camera. She will see it when she's watching the video, <laughs> and she will come for you. <laughs> so now this is the old port. Old port. This is where everything used to go. Wow. The fishermen, you can see, they are doing their own job here. Mm. Yeah. Wow. What is this dome? So this, you see, this one looks like a a dome. A dome. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this one looks like a a dome. Yeah. So let me tell you the funny thing of this. This has fresh water. Okay. Despite having an ocean over here. A ocean has salty water. An ocean has a uh, salt water mm. and this well has flesh water. drinking water and this one was dug by the slaves this is one of the slaves used to bathe on this cistern this is a cistern okay when they were being transported to other parts of the world, world. so they used to fetch water from here mm. and drink it from here and if they want to bathe they used to bathe on this cistern this is where they used to be. Okay. And then after that, the soldiers used to align on them on that side. And then the, the ship could be maybe waiting for them on that side. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Looks like it's carved into 
the rock. Yeah. So now this is the old port of Mombasa. This is where sheep used to talk. Wow. Sheep, cows, whatever. We were standing there. What is the name? Goats. Yeah, fish. Yeah. There is an, uh, there is no, fish market. Fish market is that one. And then, we get a in my corner. We have a fish market. We have a fish market. Now you can see even the fishermen are doing their own thing. Yeah, these ones yeah, are, are drawing their nets. Yeah, they are doing their fishing. This mm. is not where the ship used to go. This is now the old port. Exactly here. here. Samaki. Samaki now. They are measuring, they are doing business there. When you come here during the maybe oh, yes, evening huh? time, mm. the sun sets from here and there and it's a very golden during the golden hour this place is so beautiful. So beautiful. Mm. And the water is clean, the view is nice. nice yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I can't imagine right now I'm standing at the very Where ground. Yes, f besides that, I can't imagine I'm standing at the very point where the slaves were lined up to board the ships yeah. to Europe, Europe and America. America to Western world. Mm. So this one, if you talk about that, brings a lot of memories mm. back then when you remember how the horrific things those people had to go through so that they yeah. can go and serve to another person's continent or mm. world. Wow. So guys, right now, the streets we are walking on are 100 years plus. Yeah. 100 years plus streets and all the buildings around are all that old. More than 100 years old. Oh, she was looking at me. <laughs> Like, oh, what, is, what, is, what, what are they doing? Guy, guy doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but let me ask you, uh -huh. did, did this city have a sewage system during that time? What? Did sewage lines? Sewer lines. Yeah. I, drainage system. Drainage system. I think so. Maybe they considered that when they were constructing the, these houses. No. Okay. I think but so. I've realized most, especially all buildings in Mombasa, I'll say in the coast, they have this outside drainage. Drainage. Okay. Not that uh, hygienic. Yeah. yeah. So the, I think that's they maybe they they didn't consider much of how they are going to uh, mm. train their waste. stuff. Yeah. Very so many years ago. Imagine nine hundred eighty. Hmm. Can you imagine? So we use these roads. This way? This is the back street. You can see how life is. Yeah. Chill. chill. Yeah, everybody is not in a highly. Yeah, place. people are chill here, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mzei. Nyaje. But late right now, you cannot find so many people on the street. Mm. I don't know the reason is why they don't come out of the house and the day. Mm. But when it is like around uh, 4, mm. 4 p.m. Mm becomes very busy and at night yeah street foods okay yeah most of the time Maybe from four from four street the streets are packed like packed cars, <laughs> cars, cars people mm -hmm. so the city comes to life during the night yeah the city especially like in old town most of the time you'll find it comes into oh. life mm. after four okay yeah that's when you'll find the those Swahili mamas or the they will come out to bring their kitchen expertise or masterpieces into the streets. Oh yeah. so guys 
this gentleman is available as a tour guide in case you're visiting Kenya you can see he's quite knowledgeable if you're visiting Kenya and you need a tour guide to take you around the entire country he offers those services if you're choosing Nairobi only Malindi only Mombasa he will be taking you around anywhere and he has his his packages in case you want to reach out I'll leave his phone number on the screen. Is it okay? Yeah, or my, they can hit me on my IG. Instagram. Yeah, or maybe, Instagram. or maybe they can also decide to comment on my YouTube videos and say that you want to meet up with me and I give you an exclusive tour. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. So I'll be leaving his uh, Instagram phone number and also YouTube channel. Yes. In the description down below. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> what was the last time you uploaded a video? Who me? Yeah. I have I've already uploaded like two videos. Today? Yeah. Last time when I arrived in Mombasa, mm. he was pre he premiered a video. Oh I've yeah. done a video with uh, this this lady, this girl, can you so. No the Stella on Vinya. Stella? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So From this is where? called Kibandaski. She's uh she's Kamba but I knew how to so guys you see this is Kanzo. Wow. Yeah the building is called Kanzo. It's a male cloth. It's, it's a male dress. Malika. Kanzo is a male dress. Yeah that's what I was saying, like the one the boy was wearing back there. Yeah, in in Uganda, that's what we call it. It's a Swahili term. It's a Swahili term used by the Muslim mm. men during player time. I think when they're going to player time. Yeah, but also in my local language, yeah, we call it Kanzu. Okay. They mostly put it yeah. on during on celebrations. Yeah. Friday prayers. Mm. But as you know, Swahili is a mixture of different African countries, eh? especially from the Bantu people. So you, you'll find common words from Uganda, from Kenya, from, from the local tribes, eh? Yeah, so I Then it. Arabic mixed together. Yes. But mostly Arabic and Swahili. Swahili is the language. Swahili is the language. Yes. And then now you're going to see, after the integration, mm. the Arabs, Omans, mm. and the local people who are here, yeah. they came up with their own language. language. To to trade easily, to communicate easily. Yeah. Yep. I think we should buy some water. Aren't you guys thirsty? You want us to buy some water? Yeah, I'm thirsty. Yeah, we are going to buy water where we have bought this one. Yeah. Okay. Because we are almost there. Okay. So, I want to show you another Okay. okay. <laughs> so, this one was the old. Portuguese church. Mm. This is the <coughs> this place is supposed to be the site of the Portuguese church of the Mesalicordia that was uh, later converted into a cow shed as testified by the captain Gideon of the French vessel. Mm. So they have written also with something da in Dutch. More information in Dutch and Swahili yeah, and French also. Okay. Yes. Oh, no, no, I mean Portuguese, not Dutch. Mm. So this was the first Portug oldest Portuguese church and it was after they, uh, the Portuguese were done with it, they didn't want to do anything with it, they turned it into a cow shed. Oh, yeah. a cow shed? A cow shed. So they were keeping cattle in here? Yeah, so you can okay. see right now it's So it's a, right now a shop? Yeah, right now it's an artifact shop. So let's, on, this, on this street, mm. you are able to find so many African artifacts mm. and uh, attire and stuff. Okay. So this one is the White House. Okay. This was the. This is whereby the first British uh, ambassador or commissioner. Okay, lived. Eh? Lived. And this was the first house which was connected with water, electricity. Okay. Yeah. 1915. Okay, it's here. White House. 1915. 1915. 
so that if they want to pose their video and paint, the name could simply come from the color of its paint or maybe it housed the first American consulate. The White House was built toward the end of the 18th century by Jivanji. Mm. Bahra, India. Bahra, India. Uh -huh. It was rented to the Church Missionary Society as a ladies' house for unmarried lady missionaries on between <laughs> 1893 to 1904. By 1909, the building was used as the premises of an American firm known as Arnold Cheney Living in, in Ivory. Ivory. An American film. Yeah, I film firm. Firm. An American farm. Farm, yeah. so oh, farm. It then became the first American consulate in the Kenya between 1915-1918. Are you familiar with these two these these years between 1915-1918? In the history of East Africa, the world. World War. The, no, this the first is, World War. Yeah, this is during the first World War. Mm. Oh yeah. So it had been very fine curved doors that has been removed from. The house, the house and so the present doors and windows are covered in Zanzibar style with all the uh, wealthy signs. signs. Yeah. Wealthy vegetal sh signs. Shines. Like the flowers on the doors. Eh? Huh? Okay, Mze. Why not? Oh, this drum. These are drums. Which culture? African culture. African culture. Which tribe is this one? Right. Most of most uh, East African they do Na, the drums. Mijikenda. Mijikenda yeah. tribe. Yeah. Even the Luya, the Luos, the Kambas, the Kikuli. Okay. Uh, there are many. Okay, okay. Nine tribes. Okay, okay. The good jewelry yeah. necklaces. Yeah. 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 That's really artistic. Like that's, that's polythene. Yeah. yeah, this one is polythene, my friend. <laughs> this is polythene. When you wash it. Uh, you, you, wash and and dry, you wash and carry. Yeah. <laughs> very, very creative. Very creative. So, say you only have a person up in there. Leave me a seat and you want to leave to go to the phone. I want to go to the phone. He's saying how much? 600. So, this is six dollars, guys. Mm. Support a business. Mm. That's when you buy, you Support promote me. Yeah. So, Mzei now is the owner of the White House. I'm not the owner. Uh, I'm just rented. Uh, <laughs> it must be expensive <laughs> though. No, it's not. It's not. Because it, it's just under Kenyan Museum law. Oh. It's protected you, by Kenyan Museum law. Mm. You are familiar with this one from your country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You are familiar with this one? Yeah, we have yeah. them. We have these ones. Imagine this one is like a uh, banana stem. Like banana fiber. Ba banana fiber. Mm. I see. And I'm not going to pop off. So Mze is gifting me a Kenyan bracelet. Oh Mze, Asante sana. Mungu akubariki. That's an expensive loss, bro. It is not all that. Pole, pole. Mze Asante. Pole, pole. Go and go and try there. One minute. Asante. What? I tell you, Kai. So guys, there is something here I don't understand. Oh, thank you, Mzei. We broke one of Mzei's expensive art pieces here. But he's like, it's okay, that was just bad luck. And it's an expensive piece, guys. Yes, so you feel so bad. Yeah. And wow. he has gifted you this. Yes. For free. Oh, Mzei. Which Mungu was for $2. Sana. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Asante. Asante. Na nomba watu wa kiona hii video, pia wakuze kwa duka lako. Yeah. Simbi yo. Yeah. Uyubu wana uyu. Giraffe? Yeah, I want to go to the house. 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 to go to the Okay, Mzee. Mzee? Yeah. Mzee. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 
And in Uganda, in Uganda we have a place called Jahazi Pier. Do you? Hey, what does Jahazi mean? Jahazi means ship. Ship? Yeah. Oh. We have a, a beach called Jahazi right Pier. Right now I don't even want Look to enter these shops. Look at <laughs> this. <laughs> Monkey smoking. Yeah, smoking. <laughs> this one is taking <laughs> task a lot. This one has task <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we can't go in. We've just broke stuff inside. We can't go in anywhere. I don't want, I don't want that bad luck again. Or... But Muzi was like, no, you don't pay. It's okay. Yeah, but it's okay. You don't want to go and then leave someone yeah, with yeah. a heavy heart. You, have, uh, you remember the East African coast was also colonized by the British? Yes. And yes. they came to East African coast, especially Kenya, mm. Mombasa. Mm. And uh, they administered their uh, wealthy or whatever they were trying to push to the East African who, uh, people who they found in East Africa. So they, mm. started, they built their first police station. Okay. This one uh, you can see, this is the first police station in East Africa. Mm. You can see right now it's dilapidated, it's not yet rehabilitated. Mm. And then after the British went, they left it. It is turned out to be a market and then it ended up to becoming a curio shop whereby you can sell artifacts. Okay. And then after that, it was abandoned and right now maybe the county council wants to refurbish it. Refurbish it. Maybe they want to do it, uh, maybe keep it as a market or mm. I'm not a museum, sure. What they, maybe. Or may, uh, maybe a museum. A museum could work good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want a photo? Yeah. Me too, I want a photo there. So this one is the Mazurui Glaviard. This is where Mazurui, after he died, he was buried. Who is Mazurui? Mazurui was the ruler of uh, East African, the guy who controlled the East African trade. Why yeah. is the grave? The grave was here. It was on that side. Mm. And then it was, he, the body was exhumed, mm. and then taken to Fort Jesus for preservation oh. yeah right now it has been preserved by North Kenya National Museum mm. the only thing that you can find here is like these cats roaming mm. and some monkeys around here oh so yeah. it was only one graveyard it was only Mazurui graveyard I wish only. they remember Mazurui they had the inheritance governance mm. yeah so after they died they were buried here oh yeah so they were all exhumed? Yeah, they were all exhumed and taken to Port Jesus for display. So when we go there, we'll see them? Uh, I, uh, I, don't so. I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Yeah. When the... So right now they are repairing the drainage system. Yeah. First police station in East Africa. Yeah. <laughs>